Hi all, welcome to Tech Forum. In this video, let us see how to handle keyboard shortcuts in the browser with mousetrap.js module in node.js applications. When building complex applications, it is necessary to provide user with keyboard shortcuts. With mousetrap module, you can manage the keyboard shortcuts easily. Some of the benefits are, there are no external dependencies, um, no framework is required, the size of the module is very less. You are not limited to key down uh, down events. You can specify key press, um, uh, key down or key up or uh, um, like uh, even mouse trap can decide or choose uh, the events for you. You you can bind key events directly to uh, special keys. Like example like uh, question mark star. Uh, so you don't want to specify the shift plus um, like uh, the values. So directly you can uh, provide the uh, bind the action to the uh, special keys. Um, it works with international uh, keyboard layouts. Um, you can bind Gmail like uh, key sequence in, uh, in addition to regular keys and key uh, combinations. I will show you that like uh, what does that mean. You can programmatically trigger uh, key events uh, with the trigger method. It works with the numeric keypad on your uh, keyboard. The code uh, again the code is well documented uh, and commented. So you can get more details here. Let me show that. I can go to this mouse trap NBO module. Uh, here you can get all the detail um, how to uh, integrate and all those details here. So also like uh, uh, you can see the uh, git repository here uh, with uh, required details. Now let us see how to uh, uh, use this module. So uh, I have a sample project already created. Um, so yeah, this is a very simple react project. Um, so let's start now like uh, integrating mouse trap into this project. So for that, as a first step, you need to um, install. Sorry. Yeah, you need to do a npm install mousetrap. Yeah, so I already installed. Um, so I'm, I'm ignoring this step. Um, so then let me show the program. Um, yeah, so this is the index.js. Um, so I am using the React related dependency and uh, and other other modules. So along with I am importing this uh, mousetrap uh, from uh, mousetrap. Uh, then these are all the different um, options to bind the uh, keys. Um, so if you see here, like the first one is like uh, mousetrap dot bind. I am just binding one um, uh, key uh, key one um, and like just I am uh, printing something. Console dot log. You pressed one. So let me start the application maybe. Um, so I'm using yarn run start okay okay let me maybe go to the inspect I can go to the console so let me type now one yeah it's saying like you pressed one what are the event uh, um, action you want to perform you can uh, perform inside now let me go back also you can give a combination of keys here if you see like a uh, uh, control plus shift plus k uh, then saying control shift k is uh, pressed now let me again go back here so i'm just going and printing control shift k yeah it's saying like a uh, printed control shift k so the combination of key you can um, configure. The other one is like this is the Gmail style sequence. So I'm going to type G and I. It means like go to in inbox in Gmail. So if I'm going and just saying G then I, it's a yeah, go to inbox. So same way like a star and A, it says select all. First I into star, then I will yeah, select all. So it went to this uh, this specific uh, callback. Another one is like you can uh, bind bind the um, key event. Now I am binding the A um, uh, event. Um, but again I am saying like key up. So like uh, by default say key down. So now I am saying key up. So this this uh, callback will be um, invoked when the key is up. You pressed it, uh, then you it will wait until you, the key is up. So let me go and do that. Now if I just type pressed it a but uh, the event uh, callback handler is not involved i i just uh, like uh, uh, release the key so it's a like you pressed and uh, let it come up so it means like uh, uh, on the key up the event is uh, triggered 
Okay, also you, you will be able to manually trigger the uh, programmatically trigger the uh, event from uh, uh, e event using this uh, module. Um, also, even you can do even most of the event uh, bindings you can do uh, do using this module. I will be sharing the uh, sample program link uh, in the description. Um, yeah, thanks all for watching the video. See you in the next video.